stars twinkle but planets don't. This is slightly confusing for me. But just to understand this small thing, do I have to watch the complete one shot? Oh no, you don't. And that's why we have this concept of concept bites. Welcome! Today, I'll answer all your questions regarding why planets twinkle. Is the sun even real, the one which we see every day? rising up in the east and setting up in the west because all of these questions need an answer and the answer lies in the science behind atmospheric refraction. In today's video, I'll make sure you, exp you understand everything about atmospheric refraction and you shouldn't have any problem, not even your boards, not even your class 11th and 12th also, right? So relax and concentrate. Now, let's start with what is atmospheric refraction, but Atmospheric refraction, there is a word called refraction. What is refraction? Come on, we all know. Refraction is the bending of light. And you know, twinkling of stars is something which is very much related to what you see here right now. Whenever you are sitting next to a bonfire or let's say you are sitting in a puja and there is a havan happening in front of you, right? What do you see? Your friend behind the bonfire or let's say Panditji behind the havan they seem to flicker, right? They seem to move. Why? Because if you understand this, that's the reason behind the twinkling of stars also, right? Think about it. You see the person next to the bonfire, right? Which is directly opposite to you. Their image is flickering. Pandit ji, ki image na aise se hilti hai. Kyun? Socho. Dhyan se dekhna. Piche na aise se hil raha hai ka. Correct? Right? If you notice, this portion. Kyun? Because, how are you able to see something? Because light from that particular object is traveling through the medium and then reaching your eyes. In between, what is there? There is medium. Here, there is this bonfire. What is a bonfire? It's what? Hot gases moving up very quickly. There is so much disturbance in between, right? That's the reason. Medium 1, medium 2, medium 3, when light travels from one medium to another and if both have different optical density, it bends, right? So that's why, what's happening? The light from your friend who is sitting across, right? Who's sitting opposite to you from the bonfire, the light ray from that person is coming but in between there is so much hot air disturbing this light that it kind of moves here and there and that's what creates this disturbance, right? And you know, the same thing happens with the atmosphere. Where are the stars? Stars are very far, right? Stars are very, very far. But what do you have in between? For a very long time, there is nothing. We can say there is vacuum. But after that, we see there is atmosphere around the Earth. Atmosphere and vacuum. These are two different transparent media with two different optical densities. Vacuum, we say refractive index is 1. Air, we say it is 1, but it's not exactly 1. It's 1.003 around, right? So means it's a denser medium. Now, as the light from the star travels towards the Earth, it passes through different, different layers of atmosphere. And with each layer, the refractive index keep on increasing. Means you can say the light keeps on bending towards the normal. So think about it. If light is traveling in this manner and let's say this here is the normal, the light ray is going to bend towards the normal, right? The light ray is going to bend towards the normal. Then we have another normal, towards the normal, another normal, towards the normal, right? So this is what happens at as the light from the star is reaching towards the earth. What is the consequence? Finally, then what happens? Think about it. Your actual position of star is this. But when the light reaches the surface, or let's say it reaches your eyes, what happens? It has already bent. But what our eyes have a tendency? We always see, we always see, we always think, or I would say, that light has traveled in straight lines. So we see a virtual image, an image which is not real. That's why we see an image. How? Straight line, we believe that that is, that apparent position is the star. But you know what? That's not the case. So this is how we see false stars. Yes, we see false stars. We see an apparent position of a star. We don't see the actual star. Now, think about it. Light has to cross all these layers of atmosphere. But what do you think? Uh, is atmosphere like still? Atmosphere change hota hai kya? 
बिल्कुल चेंज होता है मस्त हवा चलती है ना स्टॉम्स आते हैं एटमोसफियर कीप्स चेंजिंग देर इज लॉट ऑफ विंड मूवमेंट सिमिलर हाउ द हॉट एयर अब ऑफ द बॉर्न फायर वॉज मूविंग एंड द इमेज ऑफ योर फ्रेंड वॉज लुकिंग ब्लरी और हेजी इट वॉज डिस्टर्ब नो सिमिलरली दिस स्टार will keep on moving as a s a s a s a s a and that is what we call as twinkling so it is happening because of varying physical conditions of the atmosphere so that's why this atmosphere is disturbed you know there are variations in this and that's why the position of the star this position of the star it keeps on moving here and there here and there and this is what we call as twinkling of the stars twinkling matlab jal bujh nahi hota hai twinkling ka matlab hota hai position yahan thi achanak yahan gaye fir yahan gaye fir yahan gaye you feel like star aise aise kar raha hai so this is what we call as actual twinkling of the star all right now you can ask me one more very good question uh stars are twinkling okay it's okay it's fine but why don't planets twinkle i mean planets are also are quite far from us if you see the morning star the evening star the venus venus doesn't twinkle why only stars twinkle nice if you had this question i'm very happy because stars are very far from you you can say they are like a point of light they are a point source of light but planets they are closer to you right so light is not coming from a point you can say light is coming from multiple points stars are seen as point sources while planets are a collection of point sources think about it a star is one but planets you can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 right so all these are different different point sources even if at times let's say few of them are moving here and there but still on an average the light coming is still the same hai na light ka average maan ke chalo ki lagbhag utna hi rehta hai to aapko pata nahi chalta hai ki yaar planet bhi twinkle kar raha hai kyun kyunki ek point nahi hai bahut sare point hai jinse ki light aa rahi hai soch ke dekho led bulb hai do char led agar aage piche aage piche hote rahenge you won't even know right lekin agar ek hi led hai agar wohi upar niche kar raha hai it agar wohi move kar raha hai you will get to know hai na that's what is happening with the star and not the planet now Let me ask you something. One more question, which is a homework for all of you. Stars we are saying are point source, but planets are not. But stars are way bigger than planets. Here, why then are stars smaller than planet? This is a question. It's a homework question. I have explained this multiple times. I want the answers in the comment section. Don't worry. I'll see your answers and reply back to you. Now, if you have understood this, let me ask you one more very important question, which is very much important from exam point of view. आ जाता है exam में कभी भी आ जाता है ना. Are we seeing the real sun in the sky? You can say sun is a star. Now, if we saw, here we were seeing an apparent position of the star. मतलब sun भी real तो नहीं होगा. We must be seeing an image of the sun. But what is, how is it affecting our lives? We get to see the sun longer. Yes. Think about it. What is the horizon? First of all, horizon is where you can see the sky and the earth meeting. Right? That's the horizon for you. when the sun is below horizon means the sun has not exactly risen yet sun abhi nikla nahi hai abhi horizon ke niche hai light from the sun is traveling towards earth but because of atmospheric refraction the light ray is bending you know it is bending towards normal and as you go more and more closer to surface of the earth more denser mediums come right the air is more dense so zyada bending hota hai light keeps on bending 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 but what is the effect sun is actually below the horizon but because of this bending of light what do you see that sun is over there that is the sun you are looking that is an apparent position of the sun iska farak kya pada sun actually rise hua nahi tha lekin humko sun dikh gaya yes you actually see 2 minute early yes sun you see actually 2 minutes earlier than what it actually uh, it, it it hasn't risen yet okay Same thing happens when the sun is setting. Sun actually may set हो गया. The real sun has actually set. But what you are seeing, because the light from that sun is traveling towards Earth and it is getting bent and bent towards normal, you are seeing the sun above the horizon. तुमको लग रहा है कि सूरज अभी अभी जो है set हुआ ही नहीं है. दो मिनट late हो गया, right? So in a way you can say that it's about a difference of two minute in the morning and two minute. in the night we see a advance of about 2 minutes and a delayed sunset of about 2 minutes in an, in a nutshell you can say 4 minutes of extra sun 
is something we are able to see. Why? Because of atmospheric refraction. Air ka mid air ka refractive index or vacuum ka hum normally bolte the same hai, but yaha par different ho jayega. Kyun? Because bahot saara atmosphere hai. Kilometers we have the air, right? Or iska refractive index slightly denser hota hai compared to vacuum. Vacuum is a perfect one, but air is 1.003, right? So you understand this now? Why do we see an advanced sunrise and delayed sunset? You understand now why stars twinkle and planets don't? Why stars look smaller even if we know they are bigger than the planets? That's a homework question for you. And I want the answers in the comment section. Meanwhile, subscribe to the channel if you believe these concepts advice are very helpful for you. Tell me in the comment section how do you feel about them and like this video. Right? Like this video if you believe whatever you listened, it helped you. It made sure that you learn something new, right? Like this video and see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.